These are several things that make us glad we aren't living in the past. Technology, Twitter, the ability to watch awesome videos on our YouTube channel, and so on. Well, some of these dangerous animals will also make you super grateful to be a member of the 21st century. This is because back in time, when these animals were not extinct, well, let's just say your life is hanging by the thread. Here are 10 dangerous animals that make you glad they are extinct. If the most dangerous animals you can imagine are dinosaurs, then you really ought to check out this list. Pay attention ladies and gentlemen, this is the top 10 most dangerous animals who are extinct. Dunkleosteus The Dunkleosteus is a monster fish that can easily eat through the bones. A heavily armored fish, the Dunkleosteus, which grew to be over 30 feet long, lived about 360 million years ago. That's great news, otherwise it would have been a damper over deep diving. It had a beak-like mouth that was specifically designed to bite through armor, much like its own suggesting that this fish might either be cannibalistic or one that fought over territory. Their super efficient jaws could open and close in a matter of milliseconds. While we still don't know for what the entire body of a Dunkleosteus looked like, it's probably safe to say that not many ancient animals lived after finding out either. Gigantopithecus You may not believe in Bigfoot, but the Gigantopithecus once existed. The largest species of gorilla to ever have existed. The Gigantopithecus could very well have been 10 feet tall. Though it was an herbivore, and thank God for that, this giant gorilla had what it took to live among some of the most dangerous carnivores of its time. The male species are thought to have an arm span of about 12 feet. The Gigantopithecus can lift up to 10 times their own body weight. Asia was home to the Gigantopithecus up till about 100,000 years ago. They are ancestors to the modern apes and the orangutans. Which animal do you think would win in a fight between the Gigantopithecus and Bigfoot? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Andrew Sarkis the name Andrew is normally associated with gentle, middle-aged, genial people, but this one didn't get the memo. The largest land-based mammalian carnivore ever is the Andrew Sarkis. Estimated to be about 6 feet tall at the shoulder and well over 12 feet long, this magnificent monster is only known from its skull. This means that its true size cannot be determined for sure. In spite of all that, it is still considered to be the largest land-based carnivore of all time. Some say it was a carnivore and others argue that it was a scavenger, but the force of its bite is indisputable with a force of over 200,000 pounds. Scavenger or not, it was the largest and most powerful land mammal carnivore ever to walk this planet. As the Androsarchus was more closely related to the sheep, hosts, and hippos, despite its wolf-like appearance, it truly was a sheep in wolf's clothing. Titanoboa Do you fear snakes? You think they're just creepy? Well, then you are not gonna like this. The Titanoboa was a prehistoric snake, growing to just over 50 feet long and weighing over a ton. It is said to have appeared shortly after the dinosaurs died out. It was mostly a marine animal because dragging itself on land would have been tiring. Though, its main food source was the giant fish and crocodiles. It still could have pulled prey from the land into the ocean just like a crocodile. While some believe it may have had a poison bite, it is possible this 50 feet long snake used constriction like the anaconda to kill its victims. This titanoboa definitely don't want none unless you got scales, hun. Or fur, or hair, or you get the point. Spinosaurus While the androsarchus was the largest land-based carnivore to walk the earth, the spinosaurus was the largest land-based predator ever. This beast weighed up to 23 tons and was almost 60 feet long. A Spinosaurus could swing its arms with a force of over 6 tons, and has claws as big as those meat hooks found in slaughterhouses. As if that is not enough, Spinosaurus also had a powerful bite of roughly 3 tons. While its bite is stronger than that of any animal alive today, it was considerably small for an animal its size. Still. There was only a couple of other animals who had stronger bites than the Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus was a semi-aquatic animal whose diet was made up of marine life, like prehistoric sharks bigger and stronger than the great white shark. 
It also preyed on other dinosaurs and pterosaurs by pulling them into the water like some believe. If the Spinosaurus was alive today, well, no other animal can stand up to it. Predator X Just as SpaceX represents the pinnacle of space technology, Predator X, its animal equivalent, was the peak of reptilian savagery. Predator X was the largest and deadliest marine reptile, reaching a length of 49 feet. Its bite was well over 15 tons. That's more than enough to bite a car in half. This beast could well enough prey on any animal it wanted to, from sharks to plesiosaurs to giant squids to the odd unlucky dinosaur pterosaurs that strayed too close to the shore. Terror Birds No, we don't mean Twitter. The terror birds are a group of flightless meat-eating birds, as some of them stand over 9 feet tall. The terror birds included Forus rachis and Titanus. For many years, these creatures were the apex predators of their environment, preying on several mammalian species. With their massive razor-sharp beaks, they could rip massive pieces of flesh off their prey. The long razor-sharp talons on their feet was probably used to disembowel their victims. They are also believed to have been able to run as fast as the modern-day cheetahs. These terror birds were taught to be, for all intents and purposes, large meat-eating dinosaurs. They are believed to have gone extinct just before the arrival of man, and lucky us for that, huh? Megalodon Picture the great white shark. Now make it longer, about 60 feet longer and bigger, close to 65 tons in weight. Are you able to picture that? That is the Megalodon. It is a prehistoric shark that probably had the strongest bite of any other animal to live on this planet, either in the water or on land or in the air. Its closest competitor in terms of bite is the Tyrannosaurus rex. There has been only one estimate saying that the T-Rex has a bigger bite than the Megalodon. While the great white shark has a measly bite of one ton, the Megalodon's bite force is over 20 tons. Seeing as the jaws of the modern-day Great White is powerful enough to bite through the bones of whales, it is enough to wonder just how powerful this predator was and how deadly its bite had been. Evidence shows, and we can all agree, that the Megalodon was the apex predator in its environment, feeding mostly on large whales and the ancestors of what we know now as the sperm whale. Just a couple of million years ago, the super whale, the most terrifying sea creatures out there, would have cowed in the presence of the Megalodon. The undisputed king of the oceans turned extinct due to a number of reasons. One of them is the cooling of the oceans during the Ice Age. Another is the reduced prey population, as well as competition from smaller predators, like the great white shark and raptorial whales. Even though the last of the Megalodon was seen roughly 2 million years ago, there are those who still believe it's out there in the depths of the ocean. There have even been alleged sightings all over the world, but there has been no conclusive proof to support their claims. Can't imagine what their presence will mean for the ocean bodies. Still, if there's any year to confirm their presence, it's 2020, innit? Hast's Eagle While the Megalodon was once the king of the waters, the Hast's Eagle, which came from New Zealand, was ruler of the skies, literally. When New Zealand was cut off from the rest of the world, there was no large mammalian life forms on the island at that time. Because of that, birds became the dominant life forms and occupied all the major niches. Some birds lost their ability to fly, and so grew to massive sizes just like the moa birds. In response to the gigantic sizes of the available food source, the Hast's eagle also grew to massive sizes and became the top predator in the absence of any large mammalian carnivore. The wingspan of the Hast's eagle was almost 10 feet and weighed between 10 to 15 kilograms. Its talons were about the size of a Bengal tiger's claw, up to 4 inches long. This eagle strikes at 60 miles per hour talons first. If the first impact wasn't enough to kill its prey, then it would be completely crippled and unable to fight back. And the eagle disemboweled and literally snapped the bones of the prey with its claws. The bald eagle, which is half the size of the Hast's eagle, has a grip of 350 psi. So, while the grip of Hast's eagle is not exactly known, 
It is estimated to be about 700 PSI. That would feel like if a bear sat on you. The first human settlers in New Zealand were terrified of the Hess Eagle as it preyed on them, often going after their children. When the settlers went after the eagle's main food source, the moa, the Hess Eagle was driven to extinction. It is possible that the Maori tribes, who were the first settlers, also hunted the Hess Eagle in defense of the beast's constant attack on their children due to the lack of moa birds. The Hess Eagle went extinct around 1400, and let us be glad it did. Bold and dangerous creatures, the modern day eagles are known to kill creatures that are many times their own size. Some eagles even attack small children, like the crowned eagle. Now scale it up and imagine what a crowned eagle could do if it was as powerful as the Hast's eagle. Tyrannosaurus Rex You didn't think we were going to make a list of the most dangerous extinct animals without including this reptilian behemoth, did you? No ancient predator list is complete without the Tyrannosaurus Rex, one of the most dangerous predators to roam this planet. The T-Rex might no longer be regarded as the biggest meat-eating dinosaur, but it is still going strong in so many other areas. The T-Rex has a force bite of between 9 to 23 tons. It could very well lift over 5 tons off the ground. 5 tons is about the weight of an African elephant. It could also rip off over 500 pounds of flesh in one bite. With its strong, big, and huge diet plan, the skeleton of the T-Rex would have been stronger than reinforced steel. Back in 2005, a documentary, The Truth About Killer Dinosaurs, reconstructed T-Rex's head with reinforced steel, believing that it was the only substance strong enough to replicate the T-Rex's bone. This was back when it was thought to have a bite of four tons. If all that didn't manage to kill the intended victim, which is almost impossible, the infection from the T-Rex's bite would finish the job. It may no longer be the biggest meat-eating dinosaur to have roamed the Earth, but it is still the most powerful, maintaining its position as the king of the dinosaurs. If you made it this far and enjoyed the video, go ahead and give that like button a click. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and as always, stay classy.